Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to make a tub. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get yourself an old container of some sort. Okay, so if you notice, there's different types of containers. It has a straight back, straight back. This one's a little curved. This one's curved on both ends. This one's just a little bit, and then it's got a little bit of wonkiness, okay? So find what container you want, and then after that, we're gonna go ahead and work with one of these, and I'll show you how to make it into a bathtub. Okay, so you wanna take yourself a board, and you wanna determine the height that you want your tub to be. Okay, I'm gonna put mine right about here. So what I wanna do is I wanna take my board and take my marker, and I am gonna hold my board flat don't let my marker move. And go all the way around. Okay, it should line up if you did it like that. It's really hard to hold the marker in that at the same time, so it could move, but it's okay. Now, to me, that's a little tall, but I'm going to start out that way because um, I want to try something. I've got a very sharp blade. Actually, I'm going to put the blade in so I can put a little more pressure on it without it snapping. All right, and then you just want to cut all the way through. Now this is for a 112 scale doll house tub. If you want to make a bigger tub, then you want to go to like your Clorox bulk container, you know, or your laundry soap container, those kind of things. Okay, so once you have it cut, you want to go ahead and lightly heat the label, not too much because it'll melt your container. You can use a hair dryer for this process. Okay, and then once you heat it, your label should peel right off, just like that. Well, uh, the top wasn't heated very much. You can see where it's still stuck. That's okay. If you go back over it, it should pretty much do it. Now, you do have some sticky residue on there. I will tell you that. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Be careful not to burn yourself with making it overheat it. And then it comes off with pretty much no residue. Okay, now you can take some alcohol and you can rub that on there to get the rest of the stickiness off or some goo gone. All right? Or if you got some duct tape, you can pull it off with that too. Okay, so if you don't have alcohol and you have duct tape in the house, just keep going at it like this. And you can see where it's starting to get shiny right there. It's because the duct tape is pulling off the sticky residue. See how it's real shiny now? Alright, you can just keep doing that, or you can just get some alcohol if you have alcohol, or even nail polish remover will get it off on some of the residue. Not all residues, but some of them. Alright, this part's a little time consuming, so you might want to get the other one if you have it. Alright, so anyway, now that we have that, if you did not cut yours even and it's a little wonky, now's the opportunity to make it shorter. Alright, so... I went ahead and cut it a little bit taller because I wanted to try it and see if it was going to work that way. Um, but as it turns out, I don't have a straight hand. So now I need to cut it shorter. So now I'm going to go ahead and figure out where I want it. And then also, this particular bottle has like a groove this way and a groove this way. So you could potentially cut your tub almost like a claw foot tub like one of the newer models where it just sits flat on the floor but it's got the claw foot look. 
So you could do that too, if you wanted to. All right, and the other thing you can do is you can take your scissors and before you do much of anything, you can cut this part here going down just like that, just like that, okay? Now, once that's done, then you can heat that up and fold that over and that can be part of where you're gonna put your stuff for your um, faucet and everything. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off so I've got a nice straight edge and I'll be right back. All right, so I didn't like that little lip that I had on there on mine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually heat this tray up just a little bit. And then I'm going to lightly heat my edges. Very lightly. Okay. Now if you keep working at it, you'll get that little lip that you need for the tub. All right, now if you don't want that lip, don't worry about it, just cut it off and you'll just have your bathtub. All right, now once you have your little lip, it's gonna be a little wonky at first until you get everything on it and everything. All right, now you wanna change the shape a little bit, you can, but you gotta remember, the more you heat this, the more it's gonna um, get distorted. Bring in a little bit more than I want it. And again, be very careful with your hair dryer or whatever tool you're using. If you ever heat it, it will not work. You gotta hold it and let it cool. And then it'll be more of an oval shape. All right, so that's that for all right now for your faucet and your handles and stuff like that you can use some copper wire and if you have the rounded pliers you can very easily take them at the longest point and the furthest one down and just kind of keep bending it like that around and you'll get a faucet okay now, to determine where you want this to go, you're going to want to come down to the bottom and have it raised up. So I'm going to cut this faucet right about here, I'm just using a pair of pliers. All right. Now you can push it down through your um, thing or you can just leave it out. I'm just going to leave it out. Okay, and I'm going to use some hot glue to apply it.
All right, now I've bent some wire like this, and I'm gonna glue this on as well. Now you can use different types of glue if you like. Um, and be careful with the hot glue because it will melt if you use too much at one time. And your little pipes there will get hot too. So be very, very careful when you're doing it. Mine's sliding down. All right, so now that you have that there, you wanna go ahead and figure out which you're gonna use for your faucet handles. Um, you have a couple different options. You have some beads that you can use. These are earring pieces, those are beads, those are spacers, um, here's some more beads here, and some more there. So if you buy the little teeny tiny ones, you have um, several options, all right, uh oh, it looks like it's fell again. Probably gonna have to hold that until it dries because it just keeps falling. All right, so for my project, for mine, I wanna go ahead and use the earring pieces and I'm gonna use some crazy glue and I'm gonna go ahead and put a dab of crazy glue right on the top. All right, get that glue there and then I'm gonna take one of these little round spacers because I think they look the most like a um, faucet and I'm going to attempt to stick it on top of there oh, just does not want to do it for me be careful not to touch your finger Right, there's an easier way and we're gonna do it the easier way I was trying to do it where you could do just the glue and you don't have to worry about adding that piece all right we're gonna go ahead and stick it in here don't let it get on your fingers okay there you have it all right so now we're gonna do it again All right, now don't forget to add your crazy glue to the other piece, though. All Appears I have a defective one. The rubber piece inside is not directly in the center. See, it's not cut in the center there. There we go. I got it worked in there. All right. Now that I got crazy glue all over my fingers.
All right, so there's the two faucets. Okay, as far as the drain goes, you could use something like this. It's a little spacer. And then just glue that in place. This is the overflow. We're going to put a little bit of glue right there. We're going to take this. And we're just going to plop it right there on there. Right, that's your overflow drain. All right, now as far as this drain goes, if you have any um, little uh, eyelets, that would be great for that. I'll have to pick some up, I don't have any. And if you watch my other tutorial on the jet tub, I show you how to do that on there. All right, so we want to put these on here. So we can either do them like that, or we could do them like this, or we could leave that like that for the um, shower head to go on there. And we can actually put them in here or put them in there. Okay, so it all depends on where you want yours to go. It's going to be completely up to you. Alright, I think I might leave this here for the shower head piece and maybe put mine in down at the bottom so that it hides where the tub actually has that um, crease in it. Alright, so you just want to poke two holes in with a needle and then push this through the hole if you're going to do it inside the tub. And as far as the back goes, you can bend them over or you can just cut them off either way. But make sure you glue it first before you decide what you're going to do. And because it is wire, you can bend them in the way that you want them to be. that now we have to make the other part for our shower head all right now to make the shower head you can either use like a bead or something like that or you can use a larger one of these okay, these you can get in the electrical department and this is in the jewelry department okay this is just a crimp bead now you can put it on like that or you can put it on like that, either way. And then this is just a flower bead, so you can do whatever you want. Whichever one you think looks better is the one that you wanna do. It's like that. And or like that. I'm gonna go like this. All right, so before I go and do that, I need to get some string or wire whichever you want to use you can use either one okay once you have your string you want to go ahead and put it up inside of the tube for this okay well this part's kind of tricky because you don't want to get yourself hurt so be careful I'm going to actually hold that like that with this so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue in there to kind of hold that in place. Okay. 
Now once that cools, I'm going to use this up in there as well. It's got to be in the center though. I'm just going to rest that on there like that. I'm going to fill it with hot glue. And then I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to gently set it on top without getting my fingers. Very carefully so you don't get your fingers. All right, now you can turn it upside down and press it. All right, now you want to take a little bit of hot glue. And I'll tell you um, what would make a perfect shower head is one of the old earbuds. So if you have any of those, you don't even have to go through any of this. All right, so once that cools off, you can pull the excess glue off of it. I just want to squish it into it. All right, now, because the shower heads are a little coiled, you want to go ahead and coil this around. You might want to use some crazy glue though, once you get started to kind of keep it on there because this is copper and uh, it may come off. Rope, I'm sure, because it's already sticking. I mean, it's already hard, like literally hard. So make sure you have enough. All right. Once you have it to your desired likeness, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the excess copper. All right, put some crazy glue on that end. And let it get hard. All right, now to finish off that part there, we're going to put a little bit of hot glue around it so it doesn't look so wonky. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm just taking the glue gun and I'm kind of just taking the excess glue off. All right. So as it sticks to my fingers, because it's still there, you can see exactly what we have. All right, now it's cool off enough, I can kind of just mold it the rest of the way. All right, so now, here's your shower head, your portable shower head. That should fit on here. I'm gonna have to bend mine in a little bit more though. And then 
you can just have the cord and glue it underneath. I'm gonna just glue this cord right here, the string rather than the cord. Just kind of push it there and put some crazy glue on it. All right, now we're gonna let that dry. As it falls out, I'll do it again. All right, so there is the shower head. Shower head I'm not really happy with, but it'll work. And then I also bent these up a little bit. Okay, so that's the tub. I'm gonna paint everything except for the copper piping. I'm gonna leave that copper. Um, I'm gonna paint this white because I don't. I've never seen a golden white shower head before. Okay, once you get it painted, you want to go ahead and bend these over. And there's your shower head. Now you want to hang it up on top of here. Mom, and then... Printed. Okay, sorry about that. Um, anyway, so there's your shower head. It's going to go there. And if you want to bend this, you can because there's copper underneath of there. So if you want this to kind of have a little bit of a bend in it, you can do that. It's not necessary, but you can do it. Don't forget to put your little drain plug down there. Now, you can also still use these if you want. I can't even pick it up. I'm having a heck of a time with these things today. You can use that as a drain as well as the overflow. But the rivets do look better. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful, and I will see you next time.